Okay. You ever get um, across the road to no next door to see Bob? I haven't seen him in a while, uh, other than he's on his patio sometimes. Uh, I did hear from him because I, I sent him an email for some information oh. uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, he's really not doing well. I was, that was my next question. Yeah. And I, I had noticed that he hadn't been out on his patio regularly like he usually is. In fact, he's not on his patio more than he is on it. So. Uh huh. Huh. Once he's a Facebook friend, so once in a while I see him there, but I don't get the answers <laughs> about how he's doing that way. Yeah. I know he has been fighting lots of issues over the years. Yes, he has. Oh, I just want to make sure you look like sitting up here. Yeah. Morning, John and Betty. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Morning. <laughs> Stan? No, Stan. Okay. How is Stan this morning? Just peachy. <laughs> Peachy's good. Morning, Norma. That's a peach piece and a note. Happily. Oh, yeah. So, you got these beans. Uh -huh. You go anywhere else? Not ready. Right. So, how's harvest coming in Iowa? It's really going well. Uh, <clears throat> the weather's incredible for harvest. Uh, you know, dry and warm every day. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> the uh, our tenant says uh, two more days and we'll be done with soybeans. Oh uh, wow! That's that's great. Right. Any breakdowns? <laughs> We've done hours that are ready, but there are a lot that aren't ready yet. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, way ahead of it. My grandchildren laughed at me. They said every summer, Grandpa says, "Oh, we're, it's going to be a disaster. We aren't going to get any crop this year." And, there's not and, enough rain. Yeah, and then in the end, it's a great crop. <laughs> <laughs> so your yield is pretty good. Yeah, we're satisfied. I, he said the last field was 75 bushels the acre, which I'd have sold it all for 30 bushels the acre back in August. <laughs> they have a relatively new combine, but they put the old head on the new combine, and that's been an issue a few times. We've had some issues also, but. Uh... That seems to be part of getting started at uh, harvesting. Yeah, you can't get to the board road and the centenary road Friday morning. And I don't know if it's owned all by the same guy, but there's a three combine, three combine <laughs> shelling corn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we couldn't hear that, Stan. Could you say that again? I was down at Henderson Ford Road and Centenary Road Friday morning. Uh huh. Logan and I were down there, and, and there were, I don't know if it's all owned by the same farmer, but there were three combines going all at once. Hmm. Down to the old power, or not old, but the power and light building or whatever that is down there. Hmm.
Well, so yeah, I came time, last evening. You could Dan could see six combines from here <laughs> going in various directions. That's true. Right. So have you heard from Brother Dave? Yes, I think he'll be joining us. I think he will be. Okay. Um, he, he was pretty much missed by the storms. All right. I'm going to try to get a hold of Jerry Hunter, Mark. She's down at Sun City, which is right there at Tampa, or was, mm -hmm. and see what she's been through. Hmm. Yeah, my granddaughter has said there wasn't any problem there, but she said it was a really different hurricane than she'd ever been in before. Hmm. That it came in stages. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, she said all they all she had was some wind one day and then a day or two later rain and then the wind came back. But nothing was damaged on her property. So that was good. Yeah, for sure. My grandson Gage's other grandpa had the top of his house for a while. Mm -hmm. demolished it. Oh. And he's, I think, it's somewhere around Fort Myers. Yeah, that's where it's bad, I guess. Yeah. Well, Sylvia, I came up here yesterday and uh, carted off all the stuff that could go directly to recycling. So we don't have a whole lot more to dismantle before it can go to recycling. So we're making progress on that pile in the office. Wonderful. I've been, I did have um, that big toad I brought home had several pictures in it. It's, I'm, I'm still hoping for more in the file we haven't gotten to yet, but I've enjoyed looking at pictures, little snapshots that I can't, I don't know whether I can take pictures of them and blow them up or do something with them or not, but um, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen Ruth Weisenberger. <laughs> and my, my goodness, the events we had um, there and when, when we go on field trips and went to the Levi Coffin house and we went to White's, uh, not White's. Um, Institute. Yeah, yeah, and um, the picnic in the park had Francis Graves on rollerblades. <laughs> it was that would have been at that point. I'm pretty sure that would have been fun to see. <laughs> Some really cute pictures of the Burger Kids, and yeah. So I'll try to figure out what to do with them. I'm thinking about just putting them all out on a big table and let people pick them up and look at them and take them home if they want them. Morning, Jonathan. <laughs> Morning, Jonathan. Morning, Jonathan. Morning, Jonathan. Can you hear us? That's Steve. Good morning, yes. Good. Here comes Christy. Norma, tell Christy I have her pie pan up here. Christy, uh, morning, Christy. Your pie pan's over here behind the piano. Oh. <laughs> Lynn, I was thinking more about um, the plaques. There were only two left of that um, supply. And I remember talking to you about um, no point in me taking them back to Iowa. I would leave them with you. And I think maybe I left them at the meeting house for you. So look in what used to be the office, the okay. room. 
Okay. Like, that might be, they might be there, but nevertheless, we still need to get more of them because of the request for more than two to right. add to the ones we have. So right. would, if you'd just look around, please, for that. We'll do that. Black granite plaques. Jonathan, are you getting any rain or anything off of the hurricane? Not yet. It's uh, it looks rainy, so I think we could, but uh, it's supposed to be further into eastern Kentucky, I think, which they definitely don't need at this at this point. But there is a forecast for it, but it's overcast, so I'm kind of I'm gonna check the forecast, but it looks like it's uh, it could be with us anytime. Yeah, at one point they had said we might get a little bit of it, but we're not going to. Now they say. Yeah, definitely devastating event. Since we're into harvest now, we really don't care if we get any more for a little while. <laughs> I'm hearing just clouds, but nothing else. It looks to me like it's uh, that time, time for us to begin. Um, Brent is away this weekend, so um, I got the fun of being both the worship leader and the techie. Uh, um, I don't mind doing either one. I'm not always crazy about doing them both at the same time. But uh, anyway, uh, we are uh, here and ready to proceed, I believe. Um, we have a whole list of announcements. Um, this Sunday, I used to joke about what would a Quaker meeting be like without announcements, and then we have been through quite a few, it seems like in recent years, but we have a bunch today. The first one is that there's not going to be any Sunday school um, since Brent is gone. Um, the second one is that on Wednesday evening at seven is going to be our Zoom meeting um, to discuss or to begin the discussion of what we do with the proceeds from selling the meeting house. Um, in the email that you got that gave you the link for this meeting for worship, there is also one for the meeting on Wednesday. Uh, so you are all invited to participate in that. Um, Brent is going to host that meeting from here. So if there are people who would like to come here um, and participate in person rather than through Zoom, that uh, option will be available also. Next Sunday, we have been invited to participate in Worship in the Woods with Valley Mills meeting at the home of Jim and Marcia Jay, and we decided we would like to do that. So there will be no online meeting for worship next Sunday. Um, friends who um, attend that are invited to bring a covered dish because there will be a picnic afterwards. In the um, newsletter is their address uh, for those of you who don't know um, where they live. And I believe the starting time it normally is at 1030. Is that? I think so. Okay. I, I believe it's at 1030 at the home of Jim and Marcia J. And then on um, Sunday, the 23rd, we're going to have a time of celebration and reflection on our years here in the meeting house. That meeting for worship will begin at nine rather than at 930. And then uh, it will probably last more than an hour, but then after it's over, we will have a reception um, in the Mills Hall. Time to visit, time to look at pictures, um, share memories and that sort of thing. So um, everyone is invited to attend that also. The meeting for worship will be on Zoom. Unfortunately, the chatting in Mills Hall won't be, uh, but, um, Hopefully you all can attend meeting for worship and share in our reflections and celebration that day. If you have not already muted yourself, you might do that so that we don't get um, feedback later on. Um, like I said, I'm the worship leader for um, today. Do we have any uh, joys or concerns that we want to share as we get started? 
Heather has hernia surgery on the chin, and it's been a long time coming, so she's a little bit apprehensive, but appreciate your prayers. I know I would. I don't know whether you all online could hear that or not. Heather is having surgery on the 10th. And so Bailey's would all appreciate prayers for uh, for them during that time. My little great niece has uh, finished her third round of chemo and they're now in that fun waiting period where they're just waiting for all of her numbers to bottom out uh, and then start to bounce back. They have bottomed out. So she has to be very, very careful about being around anybody that might have uh, any sort of bug that would um, be hard for her to fight off, but things are going well and your prayers are um, solicited uh, um, continually for, for all of them. So let's um, settle into a few moments of, um, of prayer and then I'll get started with what I brought for you today. Loving God, we thank you for the opportunities to step away from our busy lives, to take time when our only purpose is to focus on you. We thank you for the love that you have for each of us, that you demonstrate in our lives each day. We thank you for the beautiful world that you have given us, which reminds us everywhere we look, especially this time of year, of how much you love us and care for us. We thank you for your presence with us here this day. Amen. Well, as you know, usually when I play hymns, I have some sort of theme that I have um, uh, selected hymns to go with. I couldn't come up with one of those uh, this time. So I suppose you would either call the hymns that I've chosen comfort food, or you could call them a few of my favorites. I don't know which, either one works. Um, I've chosen just some hymns that have always meant a lot to me and therefore bring me comfort. That's where the comfort food shows up. Um, and I hope that they speak to you as well.
appreciate some of the uh, <clears throat> many of the songs that uh, Lynn shared this morning and uh, in our morning devotions this morning we're reading from Henry Nouwen's thoughts on not running ahead of God <clears throat> and on the last hymn it, it, it talks about how God will take care of you <clears throat> we always give lip service to that but at the same time uh, <clears throat> we like to increase our savings accounts and uh, uh, <clears throat> grow our farms so that they'll support us in our old age and do we really uh, do our lives show that <clears throat> We trust God to take care of us, or do we uh, like to take care of ourselves? I like the thoughts in the one on take time to be holy, <clears throat> um, where it, it talks about how <clears throat> we should spend much time in secret uh, with Jesus so that we'll be like him, but also speaking about how much of what we should spend our time on is um, looking after those who are in need. So there are a lot of, uh, a wide variety of, of good thoughts and encouragement in these hymns. It's that time when we transition from semi-programmed meeting to unprogrammed meeting. We invite all of you to stay with us, of course, but we know some of you have other responsibilities and we wish you Godspeed. Um, if you're joining us online, we will look forward to seeing you in two weeks rather than next week. Godspeed. We look forward to seeing you again sometime soon.
if all hearts are clear, we'll bring meeting to a close. I just have one announcement I'd like to share. I talked or I emailed um, Carolyn Moon last week to let her know where West Newton is headed. And she said to please extend greetings to anybody who writes in this migrant never gone and tell me. They're Thanks. living in both ways outside of the in Pennsylvania or Philadelphia. Right. But they seem to be doing okay. Thank you, Norma Kay. Sylvia, could you hear that? A little bit, but not all. Carolyn Moon? Yeah, Norma's been in touch with Carolyn Moon and she just wished to tell her what was going on here with the meeting and Carolyn just good. wished to be remembered to those of us who would remember her. Good, good. Jonathan, I wanted to uh, ask you if you have one of these hymn books and if not, we can send you one if you'd like. Oh, no, I don't. That would, Yeah, that would be great. I would appreciate it. Okay, so do we have your address? Does someone have your address? Uh, no, not yet. I can get that to whoever would need it. Um, it might not be for a couple of weeks till I can get one, but I'll be glad to. <laughs> I'm sure we have a spare. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you. Friend. We have a big st stack of them. Uh, so do you have one? I have one, but what I don't have is the newer one. Uh, okay. A Quaker one, right. Well, we can see that Jonathan gets one of those too, because occasionally we do use that one. Yeah. Uh, so if we're going to send one, we might as well send a copy of both. Right. So, um, Jonathan, I sent out the email yesterday with the list of the hymns that I was going to play. So you have my email address. If you want to get in touch with me, I can send it. I live right close to the whole stack of hymn books, so I can, can send a couple of them to you. Okay. Thank you. I'll do that. Okay. And let's send one to Brother Dave. By the way, he, he's not on, but he could have been. He said he thought it was the he thought today was the day they were worshiping in the woods. So huh. well, tell him we missed him. I did. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Anything ladies. else? Sure. Anything else? No. We'll be in touch. See some of you in the woods next week and others of you online the week after that. Oh, wait a minute. I need a picture of folks who I can so, so we can put it on the 24 day um, page. Oh, okay. yes. Those of you, I know Stan and Christy. Yes, Norma Kay, I'm glad you thought of that. Norma Gaston reminded me of that and then I forgot. No. Mm. Sit on the bench too. Yeah. yeah I so sit here there with you. Sure. I'll have the screen behind you. For you to see. That's right, because I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Mm. Okay. Now wait for the for the camera into the wider point of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Thanks. Now I just have to figure out how to get it to the quicker day page. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Take care. Good. Take care. Bye. Yep. Yeah, I'm just starting. Mm -hmm. Is that mine's first? Uh, well, we've done.